Welcome back to another video everyone. Today I want to share with you the history of the kingdom merge between 95, 96, 97 and 98. Stick with me to the end to find the most juicy and hidden details you don't know about it. Let's speak first about the situation before the actual merging happened. Our group pool was composed of uh, servers 91 to 102, out of which the strongest was were uh, 97, 95 and 100, with uh, 95 being a bit stronger than 97. Well. The interesting part is that while 97 was united, 95 was not. When uh, the merge was announced and we were paired with uh, 95, 96 and uh, 98, we already had uh, in mind to take Darala. Being one of the strongest uh, parties, we chose Darala. GX family of uh, 95 choose Sofrostia and here things uh, take an interesting turn FXU Tarji both are from 97, uh, 95 but uh, because they didn't get along with the GXS family they started in burning lands Roas and uh, BGA and ETM are from 98. Roas didn't get along with uh, BGA in 98, so they decided to start in Burning Lands. And uh, BGA and ETM made a treaty to share Zola. The Legion family of uh, 97 had from the start plan to start four alliances. The main fighting alliance LOR, the second fighting alliance LOK and two support alliances LOV and uh, LOS. On the fight against uh, BGA and uh, ETN for Forgotten Lands, the main fighting alliance LOR and uh, the support alliance LOV confronted them and after a good uh, amount of fighting where both sides showed uh, a lot of activity and good planning LOR uh, and LOV pushed uh, both BJ and ETM back and took uh, control of Forgotten Lands. At the same time, Tarji, Roas and uh, FXU decided to fight for Kaltia against uh, uh, the sub-alliances of GXS. Our uh, second uh, fighting alliance, LOK, together with LOS, were fighting here in Nuvola against the main powerhouses of GXS. The main alliance GXS, TNT and IXS. They were fighting a losing battle. So after we completely control Forgotten Lands, we moved for uh, Nuvola to help our family. After placing our core fortress, we joined the fight. After a big war, the enemy got totally pushed back out of Nuvola. From here, we had, we had uh, two choices. Either to completely beat uh, GXS in uh, Hollandale 
or to go through Lorcan and leave G uh, GXS a path to Aetheran. Now, we decided to totally win this uh, TV, uh, Kingdom vs Kingdom and push together with uh, LOK in Holland. BGA and ETN, seeing that uh, they had uh, no way to push through Forgotten Lands because LOV was keeping them busy, Resurgence to join the Hollandale, GXS and IXS. Now the fighting started in uh, full. We 97 allied with Targi, FXU and Rowes to have them keep pressure from us and push uh, Kalkia so we have an easier time in Hollandale. At this point, it was uh, GXS, BGA, ETN against uh, Rowes, Targi, FXU, and LO family. The fighting in Hollandale was pretty evil. After uh, seven, we, uh, seven days of back and forth, both here in Hollandale and Kaltia, the victor was decided to be us. But uh, GXS side was not content to give up and they decided to completely give up on Hollandale and dominate Kaltia. They pushed uh, our allies back to gate 1 and prepared to fight us for the level 4 pass. We were more than happy to meet them up front. Both sides lost a lot of uh, troops at this fight battle. And after a while we decided to stop because the losses were not worth it. What was happening in the background was that BGA were planning for the next season. They were ready to take uh, their players back and form another alliance for the next season. They took uh, some of the GXS people and formed the SS2 project. Well, they also took some people from LO family and other families. They convinced them uh, that uh, after season 3, whenever that will be, they are going to join the Avengers. Because it seems they have uh, some connections with uh, Sade Alliance. Now, we, in light of what happened and because uh, we very much appreciated the, the fighting we had with GXS allied with them for the next season because there are high chances we are gonna be paired with them. FXU decide, uh, decided to join uh, the LO family. Roez is going back to 98 together with the SS2 project. And uh, the server 96 is pretty, pretty much empty. The status of uh, migration, when uh, the migration actually closed, was uh, normal for 96, active for uh, 98 and 95, and crowded for 97. That should show uh, who is the biggest victor of uh, this uh, Kingdom vs Kingdom merch. Now, 97 is looking forward to our uh, next season and uh, we hope for some new faces and new challenges.
it everything should be showed in uh, eight hours which is nice if you like this video like and subscribe